been discovered yet. And she has to find an agent or a job before the money from home runs out. Okay, have a nice day. Take care. Hi. Hi, Susan. How you doing? You survived the convention and you got pictures from me. Right. I think your height is the only thing that really is a problem that we need to hit on, and, and it's because you're a shorty. Okay. Yeah, and, no, uh, I've been caught that. <laughs> yeah, you haven't caught that. <laughs> that. That doesn't necessarily have to be a negative, but it's not a positive, and we need you know, to deal with it that way. I think the next step is to, is to talk with Wilhelmina. Okay. Okay. Wilhelmina is 40 now and the head of the second biggest modeling agency in the world. She came from Germany when she was 15 and stayed to become one of the most famous models of the 50s. Um, just, I just arrived. How tall are you? It's just 5'7". Five, 5'7", seven. Five, seven. Five, seven, is that honest? Well, we'll measure you, yeah. okay? <laughs> uh, how much do you weigh? Um, I could guess around 115. 115? Hmm. Less and time. The last time you checked? In Nebraska. Huh? I love the way you look. I think that you really have a very, very good look for this business. I would say yes, I'd really like to try it with you. But, now come the negatives. <laughs> I think what we have to do is first of all lose some weight, okay? Because it's going to help you here. Now turn your face profile, let's see. Very nice profile, but you can still use the, the weight loss in this area, yeah. Okay. Okay? Uh. And as far as your hair is concerned, we'll keep it that length for now. Until we It'll see grow. a few more pictures. A little longer wouldn't hurt, really. Yeah. I don't want you to cut at all, okay? Okay. And we'll change your eyebrows a little tiny bit. And that should really do the trick, because I really like this. Well, why don't we take your height measurements? Right. Here. Can you take your shoes on? Sure. And let's see how really tall you are. Okay? That makes it 5'7". All right. Now, would you step on the uh, scale and let's see what happens? Hey, look at that. You know what we're going to have to do? We'll work on a diet together, but I want you to take off at least eight pounds, okay? okay. Well, put your shoes back on. Okay. Most models are teenagers. A good agent like Wilhelmina hovers and mothers. She runs rap sessions for her fledglings. Tonight, the subject is sex. How to handle a man who comes on strong? How do you deal with a photographer who's giving you a hard time? Things like that. I'm sure you must have some questions. Yeah, what about happens it? when you get a photographer, yeah. right? And he's got a lot of problems or, or something, but he's an excellent photographer. What happens then? <laughs> you look at the psychiatrist and you convince him that you're absolutely brilliant and wonderful. And uh, I think this is it's literally give him a, a, an ear. You know, you're going to have to sit there and talk it through. You can't be rude because then he's not going to right. take a picture. Maybe then you can start going into your problems that are not real. I mean, I really don't want you to divulge your real problems. Do you know what I'm saying? So what do you do in a situation to where, as I find myself, where you make friends with the photographer and you work with him and you have a good time, and all of a sudden he comes back and he's in love with you, and he thought you felt the same way, that it was love at first sight, and you were just... Well, just having a good time working, you know. I would say that the best way of handling it is by telling him that you are one man's woman and that you feel very, very strongly about that. And besides, you value friendship so much more. And you know very well that if you were to fall in love with him at one point or another, since you're not ready for marriage or anything definite, you will probably ruin this wonderful relationship that you have just discovered together. How's that? You like that? <laughs> Photographer, like, ask you to go out to dinner or go out for a drink. What about nighttime then? What do you do if a photographer lost studio and he won't let you out? This is really good. But and yet you kept your sense of humor and you sort of gave him a way out and he still won't, huh? Yes. Then I think your only solution is to tell him that either he's going to have to kill you or you're going to tell Wilhelmina and he's off the books. Okay? 